Hey there, commanders. This community goal is really interesting. The rewards may not be the most compelling thing I've ever seen offered in a community goal, but they are strong in the roleplay department, and if you don't happen to have a salvation weapon, this is your week. Um, you're not going to get anything big, but you are going to get something that you didn't have before. Now, the lore behind this community goal is pretty straightforward. Salvation sees us as losing the current tier of Thargoid incursions, and so he's going to help out by deploying his super weapon in three systems simultaneously. This is going to have a pretty significant impact on Thargoid combat, since AXI hasn't been able to make much of a dent overall. Um, it's a losing fight right now. And this is despite their best efforts. Now, uh, Ramta is attempting to work with Aegis to study Salvation's anti-Xeno superweapon, where Salvation is trying to build up supplies in order to deploy his superweapon. If you decide to help Ramta and Aegis, then your reward, if you make the top 75% of contributions, will be four turret-mounted Class 3 AX missile racks. This is the most single number of modules that has ever been offered in a community goal. To my knowledge, there's never been a single thing that you could do to get four of anything. However, the Class 3 AX missile rack is a lackluster anti-Xeno weapon on the spectrum of anti-Xeno weapons where Salvation's tech is right at the very top and this is probably somewhere at or near the bottom. I don't think it's the worst of the Aegis weapons that you can get. It's probably actually one of the best, but the best is still nothing compared to a Gauss cannon, even if you don't have any upgrades for it. Which means that they're basically offering you some dusty old weapons that have probably been sitting in a warehouse for the last three or four years that this weapon has been available. And you don't have to do anything special in order to earn it. You can basically land anywhere in the Pleiades on a large surface starbase, uh, one of the big city-type places or a couple of the research labs, and you can just buy these things from the outfitting screen. I, At least uh, you could last I checked. The Class 3 AX missile racks, I can't remember if those have always been available or not, but uh, the missile rack, the, the weapon itself is the issue here, not the module size. The missiles don't scale and damage output with hardpoint size. The only thing you get is more of them. And in terms of armor piercing and overall usability, I mean, these things just don't, they don't carry their weight in a fight very often. I don't, I hardly ever see them used in practical AX combat anymore. Uh, which means I don't think that there will be very many commanders participating in this, and I'm pretty sure that, uh, that Frontier knows this isn't a compelling reward, and they're trying to nudge the story in favor of salvation. So if... Ramta and Aegis win, then I think what we'll get is more details on how this super weapon works, and maybe it will expose some ethical constraints we aren't aware of, some ethical factors that might be floating in the background. Now, the other three community goals available this week are helping salvation in one way or another in three systems. I'm just going to run through them in order. If you help salvation's anti-Xeno super weapon in Merope, you're going to get, if you make the top 75% of contributors, two pre-engineered fixed mount class one shard cannons with reduced spread and increased range, penetration and shot speed, but increased mass, power consumption, and active heat generation. Basically, they're giving you the same weapon that you would normally have to earn through the tech brokers. I've done a comprehensive review on these weapons. I'll include a link to it in the comments if you haven't seen it. Um, that would probably be a good place to get familiar with what it is you're going to be going after because Salvation's weapons really shake the game up in the Guardian weapons department. The uh, Guardian shard cannon is much better in practical combat than the classical shard cannon, assuming that you're trying to fit one in one of these size 1 hardpoint slots. So this is mostly going to be relevant to smaller ships. But it shouldn't be understated uh, just how useful these things can be, and they make excellent supporting damage when paired with a Gauss cannon or some other type of uh, Salvation weapon, or even just a regular Guardian weapon on offer. Now keep in mind that Salvation currently doesn't offer any Guardian modules in the size 3 category. That's a huge oversight, and it's deeply missed by those commanders who favor large ships in AX combat. But, hopefully at some point in the future, we'll see it addressed. Now, the second system that you can help out Salvation is in Maya. This is a key system in the Pleiades. It's one of the central systems that you visit when you go to that area. Uh, let's see, the reward here, if you make the top 75% of contributors, will be two pre-engineered 
fixed mount class one plasma chargers. These are beasts. The shot speed is ridiculous. It, does, it means that you don't really have to lead your shots all that much when you're fighting interceptors, and it makes it easier to actually hit hearts with these things. Although the plasma charger's primary role in AX combat right now is exertion. The amount of exertion damage it does is substantial. It's something that you definitely don't want to ignore, and if you like the way that a plasma accelerator works, you will love this cannon. It is exceptionally useful in, in AX combat, at least the Salvation variant is. The Standard variant is not. So if you're in the market for a plasma charger, you'll want to hit up Maya. Now the last system that we've got in the offering is Delphi. And the reward here for the top 75% of contributors is a Class 1 Burst Fire Gauss Cannon with increased reserve ammo and reduced falloff range. This is also included in my Salvation review. It is one of the most powerful weapons for Thargoid combat in the game. In fact, depending on who you ask, it is the most powerful. However, you are getting the size 1 variant. Most AX guys are trying to fit size 2 Gauss cannons wherever they can, but if you're in the market for... Oh, I'm sorry, you get one pre-engineered Class 1 Burst Fire Gauss cannon. So that's a statement of its value, I should suppose. So amend that. I want to be very clear. You're not going to get two Gauss cannons. You're just going to get one. Where with, let's see, these other two, the one in Maya and the one in Marope, it looks like you are both getting, yeah, you get two pre-engineered modules in Marope. You get two pre-engineered modules in Maya, but you only get one engineered module, the Gauss Cannon, in Delphi. But it is a really powerful weapon. This thing makes it a lot easier to get some heart damage on you. You don't have to be as accurate when you have a four-shot burst, but that comes at the cost of doing less damage overall if you miss a shot trying to uh, shoot out a Thargoid heart. Now, I mentioned earlier that when you do uh, community goals like this, you have a potential to split the contributions pool. That's contingent on the number of people who are involved in each goal. I am a little bit concerned here because according to... Oh, actually, no, here we go. Delphi is leading the pack. So if you need a Gauss cannon, I recommend hitting up Delphi as soon as possible. The contributions pool is not that big right now. It looks like 240 is like the top 10. Uh, but this pool is going to grow rapidly over the next 24 hours, so this is going to be an evolving deal. But uh, Delphi is estimated at time of recording to be 31% complete in four days. The Inara estimates are rarely accurate in the first 24 hours of a community goal, so you should be checking back in here often if you want to keep on top of what's going to be available and when. It's super important if you really care about getting these things that you, uh, you get on it. And, oh my gosh, the contributions pool is tiny, 500,000. 500,000 completes this one. Um, let's see... Make sure I haven't missed anything important in here. Um, yeah. It looks like if we somehow fail to acquire this really small contributions pool, uh, the weapon won't kill all the Thargoids in the system. Yeah, so that's, that's the deal here. If Salvation doesn't collect everything he needs, then uh, it looks like... The Thargoids will have to be fought conventionally, or maybe something worse will happen. As for Ramta, it looks like uh, surplus deliveries will be accepted. It looks like this doesn't end. Yeah, there's no contribution limit. So this will run the whole week, and these are going to cap out as soon as... That, that's a really small contribution cap. I'm betting there's going to be a resource restriction at the megaship that provides these of some kind that's slowing the pace down. Because the contributions pool is, yeah, that's tiny. The, the leader right now, the number one slot is 300 units. A Type 9 carries more than 700. So yeah, I would bet if you're going in here that there is a resource restriction and you should probably plan around it. It might not be a good idea to take a Type 9 if you can't fill the whole cargo hold anyway. Um, I haven't had a chance to log in and actually check this community goal, so if somebody beats me to the punch on that, post it in the comments, and I'll make sure to uh, share the word. And uh, if it's a really good comment, I'll pin it to the top, so the first person who gets me something good will get that slot. Um, I know that's not really a reward or anything, but it is the best I can offer right now. In the meantime, uh, let's see... 
yeah, it looks like that's it. Uh, four community goals. The pools might be split. The work hours you might have to put into this. I would probably budget at least an hour for each one, at least enough time to complete two runs, depending on the positioning of the ships involved. But if you don't have salvation weapons, it's definitely worth doing. Uh, and I might actually jump on and participate in this one. Because the, uh, the grind to unlock these using conventional methods, you have to go out and hit the guardian sites and collect a whole bunch of scrap from ruins around those areas. You need weapon... No, I think you need module... Is it weapon or module? You need, a, you need blueprints from the advanced ruins. You have to trigger the data beacon in the middle of them. So uh, it's a bit of a chore. Uh, this could actually allow you to get a lot of guardian salvation tech in less time than it would take for you to go out there and get it on your own. So... Uh, it looks like that's all I've got for today, so I will catch you guys later.